Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. It is I, the Journey, you know. So today we are going to talk about three reasons why your free farm dreads aren't growing. So three reasons why your free farm dreads aren't growing. That's what we are going to deal with today. So stay tuned, like, comment, share, subscribe, like it from now. Cause you don't know I'll be a good thing if I drop when I drop shit. Anyway, just like, like, comment, share, subscribe. But like first, then a comment later, then a share too. And subscribe. So you get what I say, but like first. Get it? So three reasons. Number one, washing. A lot of people don't know why. Why is it that when people think say when they get free farm dreads? You're not supposed to wash your hair. You are supposed to wash your hair. Your hair is like a plant, guys. It's like a plant. If you don't want, if you don't water a plant, what gum? It will dry up and dead. You get to me, I say. You get to me, I say. No, the same thing with dreads. See, you see them grow like plants. They literally grow every day like plants. Them, they're just they literally resemble plants in a such a fucking intricate way. You know, you know them. Just. Them very very them, them similar to plants, just just that. So same like how you can never yet see a plant grow, no matter how you know you look at it all, you'll never see it move, you know. But over time you realize it, it was a, it was once a little plant and then it is a big plant. Same thing with dreads, you never yet see them grow, but them grow, you know, because you can see the length chain, but you never yet see it happen. You know, but it does grow because it's living and it's uh, you know. <laughs> Anyways, back into the video. Um Yeah, um that's the number one. Wash your ear guys, wash your ear often. Your ear love water, your body love water, you have to keep your body hydrated too, so drink water, drink a lot of liquids. And I say you know, I know some people believe it or not today, you know I know of individuals who don't drink water in all four or five months. Just never drink a cup of water like in a like four or five months pass, like four months or five months, and they never eat, drink a cup of water throughout them four or five months. You know, some people only drink water once for the year. You can believe that, but them all they drink like coffee. They drink other liquid beverages, but they not drink like a cup of plain water. You know, and it's very bad because if you know nothing about your kidneys, your kidneys are the body filtration system, and that's why you find people that have kidney stones and them shit there because. Them not really drink water and then <laughs> your, your kidney you, you put a whole lot of pressure upon your filtration system when you don't drink water, you know? So everything it just people just need to just be more concerned about them health. This is your vehicle guys and if you don't take it right, it a gonna mash down and brought down by you and you're gonna end up in a some casket or some shit. So we need to be more health conscious honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, wash your ear. So my wash routine is at least once a week. I used to wash it every three days, but then I realized say, you know, it needs to change because my ear get long and I can't really wash it every three days again because it takes a little while to dry, you know. And true, that time when it takes to dry, it's kind of uncomfortable because I can't lay down, lay my head down on the pillow or nothing like that. So I leave it to every to once a week now. Once a week, you know, I need to tick up too, so, you know, once at least once a week. And if you can't manage once a week, at least once every two weeks. Guys, at least once every two weeks, you can't do nasty if you wash your ear once every two weeks, you know. Yeah. Anyway, second one now is oiling. Your ear need moisture. And you'll get moisture when you wash it yes but then you need to retain that moisture that's what oils are for enough people don't understand the purpose and things them when you understand the purpose and the things you go maybe want to use them more because you know exactly what they're doing now the oils them just them lock in the moisture so your ear can um hold the moisture for longer so you don't have to really wash your ear every minute you know so when you oil it now it lock in the moisture and it actually keep the it prevents the hair from breaking because it lubricates the, you know, the strands so them can't break so easy, even if friction, you know most of us sleep on cotton sheet that's the reality of things and cotton and lubrication don't work cotton will dry out the hair and then dry hair and friction it have a break and you don't want your drinks to break so oil it yeah, I'm explain it a bit sweet so oiling 
Number three, you know, massage your ear, guys. Touch it. I don't know. Some people grow their ear and then don't want to put their hand in their ear. I don't get it. Put your hand in your ear, a ear, a ear, a ear, a ear. It is yours. It's a part of your body. Touch it. Massage it, you know. And then, you know, it's like human beings that understand the value of touch. Some human beings, because everything move better when you touch it. You know, you massage your skin, you realize that the blood circulation start um, better. Circulation start um, better. You tell me, I say, massage your scalp, same thing, blood circulation. More blood circulation means more nutrients are being carried to your scalp so that it can actually grow. Now, if you now massage it, the blood now circulate properly to bring the nutrients to your scalp for your ear grow. You get to me as it says a whole process and I don't need to I don't want to get too deep in it, you know, but it's a whole thing, you know, people and I don't need to like just understand it. You know, you don't know, have to understand it fully, just understand and just grasp the little thing, you know, and at least just start making a little change. You know? Because that's how the thing works, you know. So with scalp massage it make the ear you know stimulate the follicles the follicles and you know it make the ear grow faster and healthier thicker too you know so don't forget to put your hand in your ear or ask your partner or whoever somebody will love don't make anybody put the hand in your ear that's a number one <laughs> I have videos about it you know many videos I have about it the ear will energy you don't want everybody energy in your hand in your head so yeah that's all about three three reasons why your locks might not be growing so that's a three, my three, and I'm explaining about them and whatever, whatever. So, big up the journey YouTube channel, what that video help you to make your locks grow faster. And yeah, I don't know, those two years I've been growing my locks from scalp level, literally from scalp. And them healthy, I keep them nice, you know. And them I do them thing, two years, them pretty long for two years, honestly, you know. Them look healthier, two years, and them very healthy and looking nice. So, big up, one love.